A day that would forever darken the world of music, the 8th of December 1980, saw the shocking murder of former Beatle and political activist John Lennon. Nestled in the heart of New York, the Dakota, a prestigious apartment building, was home to Lennon since 1973. Known for his affable nature, he often engaged with fans who waited outside his residence, hoping for a glimpse of him or an autograph. On this fateful day, a man named Mark David Chapman arrived at the Dakota. Unbeknownst to Lennon, Chapman was not just another fan. As the sun began to set, Lennon and his partner Yoko Ono exited the Dakota, their footsteps echoing with an ominous tone. Chapman approached, seeking an autograph. Obliging, Lennon then headed towards a waiting limousine, his destination being the record plant studio. As Lennon and Yoko Ono left for the studio, the stage was unknowingly set for a tragedy that would send shockwaves around the globe. The night deepened and John Lennon returned to the Dakota at 10.50 p.m., unknowing of the grim fate that awaited him. As he strolled from his limousine, Mark David Chapman ambushed him, firing five rounds at his back, four of which found their mark. Lennon, bleeding heavily, managed to stagger into the building's reception. The staff of the Dakota, horrified, immediately called the police. In the meantime, the doorman wrestled the gun from Chapman's hand. Chapman then waited, eerily calm, clutching a copy of The Catcher in the Rye. As the police arrived, Lennon was in a desperate race against time, rushed to the hospital in the back of a second police car. At the hospital, despite valiant attempts by the medical staff, Lennon had no pulse, wasn't breathing, and was declared dead on arrival at 11.15 p.m. As the Beatles' song, All My Loving, echoed hauntingly through the hospital, the world lost an icon, a visionary, and a beloved artist. The murder of John Lennon remains one of the most shocking and impactful moments in music history.